What is up everyone? Welcome back to your daily dose of Heroes of the Storm. My name is Saren Def, and today we are playing Murky. Let's get into a game. Alright, today we are fighting it out in the Battle Kit of Eternity. My team, Zeratul, Nova, Rainer, Murky, and the Butcher. Enemy team, Rainer, Abathur, Sergeant Hammer, Kael'thas, and Jaina. Okay, so we're going to be going uh, with a slightly different build today, but we're still taking the block for our first talent. Every five seconds you get a block. Uh, you get to block a basic attack from an enemy, reducing its incoming damage by 50%. This stacks up to two times. This gives you that nice little sustain in lane. Okay, so they're all, they're all gonna go down. Okay, this works. This works. All right. Um, <laughs> it is a strange team comp, but we got this, guys. We got this. All right, so we're gonna place our egg up here in the front. Hopefully our Nova character, our Nova player, uh, comes back. Um, yeah. All right, so our ability is really quick. Q is called Slime. This does some damage in an area around you. You can see a little radius there. And it slows the enemy. Every subsequent... Um, Slime thereafter is going to do increased damage. So the idea here is we want to um, deal extra damage to the enemy. I'm just going to go ahead and toss this out there. Okay, this is going to be a little tough. But we should be okay. We should be able to lane. I'm going to ping for some assistance up here because a hammer is just going to wreck me over and over again. There we go. Alright, so our W is called Puffer Fish. After three seconds, this thing is going to explode and do massive area effect damage. And our E is called Safety Bubble. This makes us invulnerable. Uh, for two seconds, but we cannot attack or anything uh, while in it. We can only move. That's all we can do. We're gonna bubble up. We approach your position. All right, we're gonna have to, we're gonna go down here. All right, it's kind of a tough top lane for me. That is for sure. All right. So we're going to come down here and we're going to get hit by a bunch of mines. <laughs> Alright. Should be very, very low. Come on. There we go. Alright, we're going to continue to beat on this guy. take him down. Okay, so our trait. Our trait is called Spawn Egg. Now what this does is basically Murky has a very low health pool. At this time here, we're going to be taking Lit and Dream. Um, Murky has a very low health pool, and what this is going to do is it's going to give us the ability um, to spawn an egg that allows us to resurrect from that within five seconds, as long as the egg is there. Once the egg goes down, though, well, our, we're gonna we're gonna be having a normal death timer, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna bubble out of that badness. Okay. So living the dream, what this does is it stacks up to 15 times, and for every few seconds we are alive, um, we're gonna get 1% uh, extra um, ability power. This is gonna make our slimes hit for more and all of that. So we're going to be able to deal more and more damage the longer we stay alive. Now obviously being murky, you're going to die a lot, so it doesn't take long to get your stacks back up, um, but it does take time. It does take time. Alright. Here we go. I'm going to clear this lane up. Perfect. Should be able to push in with our, uh, with our immortal here. Hopefully deal some structural damage. Kind of the idea, that's what we're looking for here. Ooh, it's got going up. Okay. That's two towers down. If we can get... No. We lost someone. Okay. I must rest, heroes. 
but I will return. She really wants to chase me, she can. Alright. At that time, we're taking slime advantage. We're going to do 100% uh, bonus damage on auto attacks on enemies that are affected by our slime. And boom. So now you can see how the build is going to work. So we're going back to the, the slimy sort of build where we kind of jump in at the enemy, get some uh, increased auto attacks out on them, and then move on. Okay, so at the, well, I think we're going to try and uh, continue to push in here. Yes. We should take this mercenary cave. Oh, we need to go down. But he's standing in it. What? Oh, she's going so deep now. Not worth it at all. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Okay. So, the Butcher is now back. They are recuperating or regenerating that tower with the mule. We're just going to use our safety bubble and gap to back up. Alright, we are taken down. Nice. But like I said, our deaths, the only thing that are really affecting us is we just need to stay alive just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer and um, they want to take the mercenary camp. We can do that really fast, but I think that it would be a smarter idea for us to just move down in here. Okay, at this sound here, we're taking Octograd. We're gonna go ahead and work, grab it. Come on, get under. Nice, excellent work. So Octograd, what this does is, it's a 50 second cooldown and will lock down the enemy. All right. So as you can see, we're kind of going with that, that murky assassin build again i was a big fan of it before and um i'm giving it another shot i haven't played it in a while but i really wanted to give it another solid go nice i think that our team comp is strange but i think that it's going to work for us because we have some solid damage and some good lockdown get on her Knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Hopefully the Rainer can get away. I don't know if he's going to be able to. I'm going to try and get down here and assist. That's not for real one. Alright, we are going to go down here once again. All right, we need to get a couple more kills here. I uh, just about have. All right, we got him locked down in this. He's going down. All right, nice work, team. Nice work. We're going to bubble up here. Okay. get slow fire and there we go take her down as well okay at this talent here we are going to be taking continuous slime decrease the cooldown of slime from four seconds to three seconds this gives us way more slime to put out there gotta get the slime out there That's what it's all about getting that slime out there <laughs> so basically the idea here is um as we we get more um slimes out there we're dealing more and more damage so we're we're emphasizing that by taking the, re the reduced cooldown we're gonna bubble out of that. Okay, 
is no escape for you. No. <laughs> and I go down. Okay, we're actually gonna start up here, and we're gonna push in, and we're gonna go after this. I have no issue taking a tower shot or two. Alright, we're gonna put the slime on there. Hopefully, deal some more damage to this thing. We can get this fort down. This would be fantastic. We're gonna try and drop the mule. We're not gonna keep this thing. This thing's going down. No, get away from me! Jimmy do it? Oh yeah, he can. Okay, so the enemy is... Alright, we got the hammer locked down right here. Nice. Okay. So, I'm not going to be putting my egg too far forward, mainly because they have an abathur. Um, and I do not want him to discover the egg via, um, oh, take her down. Okay, this talent here, we are going to be taking, hmm, we have some interesting, interesting, we're going to take safety bubble. Get off me. Oh my word, I cannot believe I stayed alive. So you have a few options here. You can take Slimy Puffer Fish, which is pretty cool. Um, what this does is every time you throw down your Puffer Fish, you're going to put Slime at that location. I take this a lot for the uh, for the Puffer Fish build, and it works out incredibly well. It's a very, very strong and solid talent to pick up, even with this, the Assassin build, because remember, you're, you're trying to get more and more Slimes out there. However, with the uh, Rejuvenation Bubble, what this does is Safety Bubble is going to heal us 50% of our total life. This is a pretty good heal uh, for Murky. Oh, they got, they got her. They got her. She's going down. Whoops. I totally goofed and hit the wrong button when I went in. Um, and the only reason I'm taking that is because I know that I'm going to be taking lots of damage from the Sergeant Hammer. And if I can get in and pop the bubble, get closer, and heal up, I'll be able to stick on the hammer um, much better. And here you'll see it activating. There we go. Ah, oh, she's so low. Jimmy. Jimmy, she's so low. Get down here. We, I know that there are a ton. All right, we got him locked down. And that might be a kill. I'll just pop all those. No issues. And there we go. Slows, man. The slows. I think against this build, I may have. Uh, Probably should have gone something more akin to um, the bubble build, where you, you take a lot of bubbles and. and hopefully survive that way. Um, basically, you take the reduced cooldown and all of that. But we're doing good. We're doing good with the assassin build. They have a lot of squishes on their team, which is which are the prime targets for the, uh, the slime build. We're just having a hard time getting in, dealing our damage, and getting out. Down again. Have courage, mortal. Oh, that's okay. Alright. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna push in up here. Get the wave going in our favor. I will cleanse the land from your corruption, hell spawn. There's the jam. Alright, 
We got the Chaos Boss locked down. Now, what's great about Punk or the uh, Octo Grab is even if you are dead, you are still going to have them locked down. They're still going to be stuck there uh, dealing with that. Um, which is great, considering that you can be so easily blown up. Alright, I'm assuming that was the fake one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to toss these puffer fish out here. I'm just going to back out. Take some time before I can recover. All right. So a murky for a Jaina. I am okay with that. My uh, my cooldown, my res is five seconds. Hers is forty seconds. So we're still doing okay. Oh, very nice. I think I'm going to try... At this time here, we're going to be taking Ender Shark 2. This is going to allow our uh, Octograph to do significant damage now. Tons of damage. So the problem with Octograph uh, from before is that it does one damage a second. Every second that you have them Octograph, it's only going to do one damage to that. Now, uh, Ender Shark 2 is going to take that to a whole new level. And we're going to do some pretty significant damage with our Octo Grab. There must be a nest up here or something like that. Unless he's up here. Alright. So they need to deal with that. I'm just going to try and look for, uh, for mines. Pop them up. I think we should try and get another camp really fast. Doesn't look like we're gonna try to. Looks like we're we're fighting. Oh, they found the Abathur! Can we get him? Don't try and Ah, curses. Oh, they got him! Oh, nice work, team! Great job. Zeratul ended up coming in. He thought he was safe. He was not. He was not. Okay, I'm gonna take this advantage or this this opportunity to uh, get a camp really fast, um, while uh, we have the advantage. That way, uh, because once the the guys spawn up, you lose the chance that you have to get these. These camps will despawn. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this really fast. They're gonna need to deal with this, or else um, take some significant damage to their structures. So right now we're gonna come up here. We're gonna help try and take this guy down to at least 50 percent and get it switched over. So as you can see, with the 15 stacks, we do a lot of damage. We do a lot of damage with our Q. That's kind of what we're looking for. Remember, as Murky, um, you have very low health pool, so it's very easy for you to be taken down. Um, that being said, do not be afraid to, to die for kills, especially if your egg is safe and sound. Um, the enemy... Uh, your, your death is only worth a quarter of the experience of a normal kill. Alright, we did end up going down, which means that our Ender Shark 2 didn't do much damage, but there we go. Team is doing some work here. Can they get the kills? Nice. That's not the real one. That's definitely the real hammer. Okay. Alright, we're going to push in with our mortal here. I think those shots, I don't care. There we go. She's focusing me. She's not focusing the real damage dealers. Alright, that is going down. That is a keep down. I am up. I'm going to deal with this now. Sorry, Abatha. No push for you, sir. I think Abatha is actually really good in this map. I think that he's a little underrated, but I think that he's very strong in this map, especially with the, uh, if you take the slow in the mines. Um, your mines are going to do so much damage, and your push is going to do so much damage, um, that it's going to be difficult for the enemy to sort of... Counter. 
Um, I don't think that he took a slow in the mines. I'm used to him dealing so much more damage, too. But... Need to take care of this thing. Because it will just keep sparring him. Okay. Alright, he's got that. There is a hammer that is asking to get a beat down. Oh, that is a very deep butcher. Oh, you know what? Since we're here, let's go ahead and take this. So the safety bubble, um, I'm sorry, the, the heal on the bubble also helps you. Here we are, guys. Here we are. Oh, good work. Good work. We're back up. Trying to get over here. Oh, nice work. Nice work. I think that we can win off this. I really think we can win. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna heal up. Oh my word. Alright, are we doing this? Are we just gonna go for the objective? It looks like we're just going to go for the objective. Back out. Let's go take this thing. This is a good call. Give them something else to worry about. Get out of that. And go back in. Here we go. As you can see, Murky does a lot of damage these guys. The increased um, ability damage, coupled with the increased auto attacks, just the way slime works in general. Sticking to a target, you're going to do so much damage. Alright, here we go. Whoops. You need to be careful here. Sticking to this thing. And now I'm running away. Alright. Slows on my enemy. But we're back up once again. Once again. Alright, so we're going to make a bold play here. We're going to make a very bold play. And we're actually going to toss our egg up here. We're going to toss it. Hopefully... They won't know where we're coming from. They won't expect this at all. Okay, here we go. On the core. If we can do this, I really do. Bubble out of there. And that is GG. That is GG. So, I have been playing the um, the Popper Fish build for so long. So, so long. That I have forgotten how fun this build is. I really have. So, it looks like Murky has two very viable builds that are definitely um, able to be played on pretty much any map. And against any team comp. Um, that being said, the bubble build is also kind of fun, although you're relying very heavily on just your 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 teammates. So I would say that's more so if you're playing with other people and you have like maybe an Abathur on your team, because you're not going to be doing as much damage as with this build. And that build sort of centralizes itself around taking the um, all the safety bubble talents. Uh, here are the stats really quick. Murky isn't a uh, so he isn't so much a massive damage dealer as he is just an annoying thorn in your side. Um, as you can see, my XP contribution, just because being up all the time, my deaths, you know, I, you see I died five times. Now divide that, you know, by four, basically. And that's how many I was actually worth. I was worth 1.25 
uh, XP as far as deaths go. Um, but you can see I was there for 30 assists. I was there for a large portion of my team's, um, I wouldn't say a large portion of my team's kills, but I was there for a lot of them. Um, and we were able to uh, assist in taking the, uh, the enemy down quite a few times. Our Octo Grab, even if we were taken out, uh, can only be cleansed off the target. So if they have an invulnerability or something like that, they can throw on them. That's the only way to get out of it or a cleanse. Um, otherwise, they're locked down even if we die. So it's absolutely fantastic to lock the enemy down, prevent them from running away, especially against these squishier targets like Kael'thas and Jaina. Even Sergeant Hammer, too. Even Sergeant Hammer. But, um, like I said, because you can stay up all the time, you can be a constant thorn in the enemy's side, especially on maps where it's like you have to get the curse. You can put your egg near the curse uh, objective, and you can go and you can knock them off uh, the curse and things like that. Stop them from channeling and let your team regroup and get back in there. Anyway, here are the towns we went with. Again, we went with more of the assassin build. Um, 16, you can definitely take the um, slimy puffer fish as, uh, as well as rejuvenating bubble. You could also, and here's uh, an interesting tip, um, if you're going against a Cho'Gall, you can take Blood for Blood. That is an absolutely fantastic talent to take against him because his health pool is so big. You're dealing 10% of his maximum health in one hit. That is a lot of damage to be dealing out there with one 60-second uh, cooldown. So absolutely fantastic to do that. But anyway, here are the talents we chose today. Block at level 1. Again, just so you can poke in lane a bit easier. My laning was a little tough just because of who I was laying against, Hammer can deal some pretty nasty damage to me, and I wasn't quite able to get in there um, and and deal with that. Uh, at 4, we take Living the Dream. This increases, um, passively grants 5% ability power every 5 seconds. Um, every 5 seconds Mercury uh, is alive, he gains another 1% more to a maximum of 15% extra, giving you a total of 20% extra damage on your abilities. Um, so you start out at 5 and then gain an extra 15 every uh, 5 seconds that you're alive. So absolutely fantastic. Gives you a reason to stay alive and to not just throw your life away over and over again. Um, that being said, just because you have this ability, just remember it doesn't take long to get back up to that 20% marker. And your death is only 5 seconds and only worth uh, a quarter of, the, of an enemy's experience. So trading your life for, say, a 60-second or a 45-second Jaina, definitely worth it if you can get it. Just make sure you're guaranteeing the kill. Uh, 7 takes Slime Advantage. Your basic attacks deal 100% bonus damage against Slime targets. Put the Slime on them. They're slowed. They take extra damage from your, your, uh, your Slimes thereafter. Um, and now they're taking extra damage from your auto attacks. It allows you to stick to them with the Slime and just deal extra, extra damage. At 10, we took Octo Grab. March of the Murlocs is fun. It's fine. Massive slow if you're able to hit an enemy with it. It does okay damage. Octo Grab, though, locks an enemy down. Locks them down. They cannot run. They cannot get away. They are stuck there, even if you die. 50 second cooldown. Pretty good ability. It's going to be up for almost every single team fight you get into. At 13, we took Continuous Slime. That just decreases the slime, uh, our slime cooldown to 3 seconds. More and more slimes. There you go. 16, we took Rejuvenation Bubble. You could also take the Slimy Puffer Fish. You could also take Blood for Blood. 16 is kind of whatever you want or need at that talent tier. Go for it. I took Rejuvenating Bubble just to make sure I could get into the Sergeant Hammer and deal the damage I needed to uh, because she was just, well, she was hammering me before I could get in there. <laughs> at 20, we took Ender Shark 2. This increases the damage of Octograb by 13,700%. So we're actually dealing damage now with our Octo Grab. Now, here's the thing. If you are killed while you're performing the Octo Grab, you no longer deal the damage because you don't, you're not actually able to attack them, but they're still locked down. So you need to actually physically attack them in order to get that extra, extra damage out there. But uh, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this Murky video. I am a huge, huge fan of Murky. Probably my favorite character in the entire game. If you do not own him, I would highly recommend picking him up and giving him a shot. He is so incredibly fun, and he's not trolly at all. He is a he can be a very valuable um, and viable team member uh, to help win the game. Um, just his his presence alone can just throw the enemy off. Just constant harassment, and he is just a ton of fun to play. But uh, like I said, that's gonna be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, I will catch you all later.